Hey everybody, this is Chris. I had a friend ask how to download her Facebook pictures so she could print them. So I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. Uh, luckily nowadays, Facebook has a really cool feature where um, they will send you a zip file with all of your archived Facebook data, uh, be it your audio, video, pictures, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, the way to do this is you're gonna click on this little gear button on the top right you're going to click settings and then they've got a link down here where you can download a copy of your Facebook data and um, when I first did it I had to enter um, I had to enter my password and then it sent me a link to an email that sort of thing uh, now it's just gonna let me automatically download it but basically it would say enter your or enter your password we'll send you an email in a few minutes that you can download your files from so I'll go ahead and pull my email up and show you that part uh, give me just a moment here okay here we go your, it'll say your Facebook download is ready and it'll have a link to your um, customized download link and you'll hit download archive type your password in Go ahead and save a file there. And then if you've got a recent Windows operating system, you should just be able to open the zip file without using any kind of external software. Um, if you run into any issues, you can download a program like WinRAR or WinZip. Any kind of um, zip decompression software would work just fine, but probably won't have to do that. So we'll go ahead and click on that file just for organization's sake, minimize our window there. Uh, now what you're gonna wanna do is um, create a new folder anywhere on your computer. Um, I created it on my desktop, just quick and easy. Go ahead and open that folder up, ignore that. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the zip file that Facebook sent us, and we're gonna double click on the folder that said photos and we're going to select all of this we're going to control C copy and control V paste into our new folder and now what all these different folders are here these um, are your different albums so click on any of them or double click rather you go into it as you see you'll have all your pictures from your album uh, you can go ahead and disregard this file called index. You don't need that. But what you're going to do is you're going to select all of your picture files. And then once they're all selected, you're going to right click and you're going to hit print. And that'll bring up Windows Photo, Photo Viewer, which, um, which is actually a really cool piece of software because it'll allow you to do a few things here. Um, it'll allow you to select different sizes, 4x6s, 5x7s, 8x10s, all the standard frame sizes. Uh, you got wallets if you want to give out pictures of your friends or whatever. Um, but basically you have the capability to do all of the major sizes. Uh, if you want to print multiple copies of pictures, you can go one, two, and you'll see you got different, now you've got multiple copies of everything. Neato Mosquito. Um, and then all you got to do Go up to your printer, select your printer. I don't have one, but we'll pretend I do. And of course you can go into your options, printer properties, and change it from grayscale, or you can change your, your layout if you want to, that sort of thing. Basically the same way you would, you would do in any other program. And then all you have to do is hit print and let those print out. Once you're done, you can go back, go into your other folders and you can go through and do the same sort of thing. Change picture sizes, do multiple copies, whatever, and uh, basically that's all you have to do. Uh, now, of course, if you run into a situation where you only want one copy of one thing, but you might want five copies of another thing, then you're not going to want to select all of your files and do it at once. You might just want to select one particular file and say, okay, well, I want to do I want to do like a sheet full of wallets of just that picture. So uh, nine wallets on a page, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and, and you can do that. You've got a lot of flexibility there. And of course, this isn't the only way to do this, but it's probably the quickest and most simple way to do it. So that's the way I'm showing you. And that's how it's done, and that's all there is to it. And all of you.